I mean, the outlook for risk and compliance, to be honest, it's always challenging because there are always cascades of regulation which hit companies from large to small and they need to understand, as it were, what the business tax is going to be, how much it's going to get, cost them to become compliant and uh, uh, to understand internally within their organisation the extent to which they are or are not already compliant. Trade and transaction reporting are good opportunities for a bank to do many data cleansing and also help them have a better view of what they are actually doing. RegTech is necessary, there's no way that the regulations and the financial services companies continue to fight financial crime with so much data and such a global economy. So RegTech and the use of technology, application of technology is essential in financial crime fighting. In terms of helping uh, to get ahead from a technology perspective, it's really not around, as it were, what has become a cliché, which is uh, big data. It's a question of insight and understanding as to what uh, your employees do. Because at the end of the day, what corporate risk is about, managing corporate risk, it's two things. One is, as it were, filling in the tick boxes from a compliance perspective. But the other thing is introducing change into your organization and the technology alongside that will enable that to be delivered. There's no doubt the number of compliance people has peaked. Uh, however, I think we'll start to see a shift away from people looking at data, uh, people looking at um, matching of, of alerts to smarter people looking at how they train machine learning engines and use artificial intelligence. So I think it's a misleading headline, the numbers have peaked. In a partner I, I look for capability, uh, a depth of understanding uh, with regard to the issues of concern.